Hey there guys, Crystal here. Welcome back to a remake of a video a whole lot of you know me from. How to Get the Perfect Town was really the video that brought in a lot of my subscribers into this channel, and for that I'm extremely thankful. That being said, it is severely dated and somewhat inaccurate. I want a whole lot of pub public work projects. I'm talking clocks, bridges, uh, lampposts. The cafe, the post office, things like that. So basically, I really know that that video could use an update, and I also know many of you are starting a new town with me for my new Leaf Let's Play. Therefore, I really hope this video is useful to you. Let's start off with the basics. The perfect town is a state your town can be in. This basically means your town has no trash or dropped items anywhere, and has a specific number of trees, flowers, and public work projects. To find out how close you are to having the perfect town, speak to Isabel in Town Hall and ask about citizen satisfaction. This is one area where this remake is going to be vastly superior to the original. At the time of making that video, the exact requirements weren't known for getting the perfect town. Today, I can tell you. You'll need anywhere from 110 to 200 trees. These can be plain, palm, and fruit trees. You'll need at least 75 flowers planted throughout your town. At least 10 public works projects are needed, although this does not include the Dream Suite, Fortune Teller, Museum, Town Hall, and Station upgrades. You can have weeds, but no more than 10. Four leaf clovers do not count as weeds, by the way. You cannot have any trash either on the ground or buried. If you're looking to get the perfect town more easily, I have a few tips that will help. Take a trip out to the island and bring home some flowers. This makes it so much easier to get to 75 without needing to breed anything. While you're at the island, consider bringing back some fruit to plant around your town. I'd highly suggest lots of palm trees as they don't really clutter up your main area. Enact the beautiful town ordinance. It will cost you 20,000 bells, but it is so worth it. It prevents flowers from wilting if you don't water them, and far less weeds will grow. As an added benefit, hybrid flowers are 20% more likely to grow with this enacted. Building public works projects will help your chances of getting the perfect town, but be careful what you build. Certain items like the video screen, drilling rig, or garbage can will negatively affect your chances. Things that don't count as trash on the ground include fruit, seashells, flowers, mushrooms, buried gyros fossils, and pitfall seeds. There are numerous benefits to having the perfect town, but some of them take a little while to get. New public works projects are unlocked after confirming with Isabel that your town is perfect. These include the flower clock and the town hall renovations. As an added benefit, the flower clock really improves villager satisfaction. If you have tree stumps around your town, you now have the chance of finding rare mushrooms around it, which are quite valuable. Jacob's Ladder flowers are rare flowers that only grow around your cliffs if you have the perfect town. They will not despawn if you lose your perfect town status, thankfully. They can also be used in hybrid breeding for better odds. If you can maintain your perfect town status for 15 days straight, talk to Isabel and she will present you with a golden watering can. This watering can is capable of watering 9 flowers at once, as well as producing the golden rose from wilted black roses. And that's it. It's surprisingly easy once you know exactly how. I hope this guide helped you. If it did, feel free to leave a like, comment, or maybe even subscribe. As always guys, this has been Simply Press Start, where gaming is as simple as pressing start. 